Facebook, Twitter, Instagram too, or your hair smells nice, is that new shampoo? Okay, before we start, in case you're unfamiliar with or don't play The Sims at all, don't click off this video. This is something that needs to be addressed and it could happen within every community realistically. So it's important that you actually watch this video even if you're not particularly interested in The Sims themselves. Okay, so today we need to talk about some very dark shit that have been going on in The Sims the past weeks. For this video, I even brought him some backup in form of a feature from some irrelevant weeb called Kumuzan. I'll link his channel in the description. Go check him out. He's definitely built different and makes dope content. Alright, let's get right into this. So the video game series Sims essentially focuses around your character building and living in a sort of realistic world and interacting with the other Sims to together manage their virtual life. And these games have been around for quite some time with the most recent installment being the Sims 4 title. And as is the case with most video games, a chunk of the player base will eventually want to expand on the original game and play on external mods with additional features instead. And in the Sims 4, one of these add-on mods that were created was the Wicked Wims mod. Now this Wicked Wimps application, which has existed since 2018, when connected to your Sims 4 game, will allow the adult characters to have sex with each other. It includes nudity, strip club, sex, menstruation, and a lot of other 18 plus features that you can see on the screen for the player. Now, while definitely not being my cup of tea, these sort of sex mods have always been extremely prominent in many popular video games throughout the years. Apparently, a big chunk of the player base are interested in them for reasons I will not question here. Now, the important thing here is that this mod exclusively targets and is marketed towards adults. And to even get onto the site to download this mod, one would have to bypass two 18 plus confirmation walls. So it's literally just a sex mod for adults, nothing too problematic, right? But here is where the shit gets absolutely disgusting. Two coders within the sims community hijacked the code of this wicked whims mod and made their own version. Now it's important to mention right away that the creator and owner of the wicked whims application Turbo Driver himself heavily disapproves of this hijacked version and supports the people that are trying to get this banned. Since this is entirely a third party here, and before I explain what this hijack mod actually does, just know that I'll be saying cheese pizza instead of what CP actually stands for to prevent the YouTube algorithm gods from absolutely killing my video. So this new mod does not only allow you to have intercourse with adults like the Wicked Whims application does, but with little children and even toddlers as well, essentially creating CP, which definitely stands for cheese pizza. YouTube please don't age just kick my channel. This was brought to people's attention by a smaller sims youtuber with around 400 subs play sims youtube. Shout out to him for making people aware of this awful situation and he tweeted out These mods are available for the sims 4, report the fuck out of these creators, I really don't know how much more I can spread the word. This is fucking disgusting, this is fucking gross, I feel like no one is doing anything about this, please share. And in the attached image of the tweet, you can see what this mod enables. Now, I have decided to show the creators names uncensored here, not because I want to give them necessarily attention, but just because I feel like they need to be publicly called out for this. And here you can see this mod allows the player to activate the Wicked Wimps adult sex mod, but for children, kittens, puppets, and even fucking toddlers in the game as well. Which, in case you haven't realized yet, is enabling cheese pizza publicly on the internet for every sims player out there. This mod is called All the Fallen and it's absolutely disgusting. To show you the extent of this, I dug up a list of other animations and add-ons the creator of this has previously done and then implemented into this new mod. Here we have toddler animations for wicked whims, yikes, body replacements for little girls, a set of uh, male genitals and tongues for lowly sims. Jesus Christ, I'm about to throw up just from reading this. Like the thought that somebody was actually down bad enough to sit on his PC for days and animate all that shit, shocking to say the least. And finally also pet animation. Why do people have to throw pets into this as well? What the actual fuck is wrong with these people? So every feature this enables is essentially either predatory or absolutely disgusting. And now that you're aware of the extent of this mod, you will hopefully have understood that this is essentially enabling predators and that we need to absolutely stop normalizing P because it is truly repulsive. Things such as adult characters having sex with pets, children and toddlers should not be allowed in this game. Plus, another equally problematic aspect of this entire situation is that when you go to the official website of this awful mod, they market it to every single age group out there, no limit. So literal pterophiles can consume this with no restriction as well as normal possibly even child gamers that are just looking for an add-on to improve their gaming experience could download this disgusting mod with no 
issue at all which is absolutely repulsive they only have like one user agreement that's basically like oh we definitely don't support child molesting in any way please press continue to download the child molesting simulator so overall an absolutely awful page in several ways but somehow there have been too many people on twitter defending this saying things like oh this is just a video game who cares if peter files are playing this which are stupid arguments this is obviously awful so i brought in kumo-san to absolutely murder all the people defending this oh shit is it my turn already hello ladies and ladies with dicks i'm kumo my simps call me daddy but you can call me hentai senpai and speaking of hentai i actually don't like perverts i also don't like child enthusiasts but today we're going to be talking about the people who defend them this isn't how to catch a predator this is how to catch a predator defender I am not finished, I'm just getting started. I pull up my penis, that bitch go retarded. She gon' let the tip of my ass while I'm farting. I sneak her crib, what's not a hard crop? And I might be just triple, but nigga, I'm talking. Give me a room with that whole she ain't walking. Now, before we dive in nipples first into the cesspool of extremely cringy tweets, and I'd like to thank Matterwellen for having me on the channel today. Alright, so the first defender of justice we have here says, Y'all are some kids, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, it's just a game that is representing real life. How else can they achieve that? That's why we have modders to do it for us. Shut the fuck up, my nigga. Shut up! Shut up! Okay, but what part of fantasizing about children is not good do you get? I don't think the Sims community is satire and ironically funny enough to be like, oh yeah, let's rape a baby, that would be a funny moment. Irony and satire is like me, a black person, saying the n-word with an R. So at the jump, we can confirm these people are potential predators. And you can ask my friends too, whenever someone's like, Hey Kumo, say the n-word. I say that shit with an R for the irony. Now this is a cultivation, a community of people who download these mods, and admit to rubbing one out on their monitor to them. They're fucking gamer maps. You can make a game that represents real life, but you don't have to include fucking child porn in the game. Just because it's a thing in real life doesn't mean it needs to be a thing in the game. These terrible things happen, but it doesn't mean you should be able to reenact them or create them in fucking video games. Video games are made with the purpose of having fun. And if plowing a kitten is your idea of fun, then that says a lot more about you. So the next brainlet we have here says, Sorry to break it to you, but some people have actually had this happen to them as kids. It's a... Real thing. Having that happen to their kids in a game is just another realistic aspect of it. And it will make people see, we need to fight this in real life. This is almost like the shit they were trying to use to defend cuties. I see people constantly saying that the movie is trying to say that sexualizing children is wrong. You can't spread a message like that by doing it. That's like saying that killing animals is wrong and filming yourself bludgeoning a dog to prove your point. Also, everyone knows that sexualizing children is disgusting. This movie isn't showing some unknown problem. That was a clip by Combat Wombat, and I just love how all that almost perfectly fits the context. A fucking mod on a video game isn't gonna spread awareness about diddling fucking children. You should already know diddling kids is bad. This is like the final form of projecting. And most douche tubers would try to say some shit to sound relatable or like understandable or like a regular human being like, oh, yes, people do get diddled as children and it's traumatizing, but I'm gonna completely smack that pussy shield out of your hands. I don't care if you've been fucking molested before, you shouldn't be defending this. I also love how these tweets were written in the most condescending tone possible, but it's also ironic that they're defending potential predators. The context of your argument says a lot more about you. Alright, so the next smooth brain we have... No thank you. I'd rather have them doing things in Sims than real breathing kids. Now surprisingly, this is the most rational one I think I remember reading. But just because this one's a little bit less disagreeable doesn't mean that they're not wrong. Maps are really weird, and the no contact bullshit that they try to hide behind... They end up touching kids anyway. There are controversial people here, definitely. But there are also people here who just create drama and frame and whatever. Thinking myself of switching mainly over to Tumblr, etc. This community is one of the most stressful fandoms I've ever been in. I don't know, man. It seems to me that calling them out for it is the right thing to do. It's just a very fun game, no big deal. Now you see, I'm including this one just to show you how, like, brain-dead people are. Like, some people just want to play devil's advocate and they don't even know what they're arguing for. 
But killing, posing, and imprisoning Sims is not disturbing, huh? Honestly, let them be. They are not harming real, underaged people by playing a game. It is disquasting. But are we really the ones that should be judging them? I'm not gonna lie, bro. It sounds like you brought your personal feelings to work. All I'm gonna say is you couldn't convince me that you're not a fucking predator. And it's everyone's place to judge someone. Shit like this is socially unacceptable, and the way to keep it socially unacceptable is by making it very clear. Because if these guys get away with it, the maps are gonna try it again. And if maps start getting treated normally, that will be the downfall of our society. Alright, my head's gonna explode if I have to debunk any more of these dumb fucking arguments. Thanks for having me. Much love to Cucumber Stan for featuring in this video, his channel is obviously linked down below, go check him out. Now luckily this did not go unnoticed by the EA and the Sims, and they are thankfully going to punish people using this mod and do not support this in the slightest. Here it should be noted that we are talking about this hijacked mod and not wicked whims in general. The official Sims account states on Twitter, these types of mods have deeply disturbing content are not authorized by EA, and their use violates our user agreement, if we detect players using this kind of mod content, they will no longer be able to play the game and will face permanent EA account bans. And in my eyes, this is obviously the right move and decision to make here by the Sims team. I'm glad they are taking action against this predatory behavior and I do support your statement all the way, meaning at least the game creators themselves are standing up against this. So to kind of wrap up this video, I know it, this got really dark, I usually try to stay more lighthearted on my channel, but I have decided to promote something in regards to this awful mod that I genuinely believe can create a difference here. Since now we're hopefully all aware that this mod is absolutely repulsive and disgusting and know that sims can only ban the players they catch using this mod but not the mod overall, I have something that might be truly able to make a difference. And even if it won't, it can at least showcase that we stand in unity against this. This all can be accomplished through this petition right here, it states the following. There are animations being made of children and toddlers being This is not okay. These creators have been operating for years with no repercussions other than the OG mod creators not supporting their work, aka sick fantasies. I'm not sure what I can do to make this stop and get these people the punishment they deserve, but there has to be something and I'm making this petition to bring awareness to this huge problem. I feel like if more people outside the sims community know about this, greater change can be made. This is plain and simple, animation or not, and it should be illegal. These people should be in jail. Please sign a petition if you agree. And from my point of view, if you wholeheartedly ever wanted to step up and actually do something against horrible actions on the internet, this is your chance to raise awareness. I stand behind this petition 100% and I really recommend and very strongly encourage signing it if you wish for some actual change to happen in this situation. Currently over 16,000 people have signed and supported this petition. Hopefully through this collab we can get some more signatures. I'll of course have the petition linked in the description right at the top. Okay, to conclude this video, again, huge thanks to Kumo-san for his feature. I do hope we were able to shine some light on this ongoing problem within the Sims community. Even though some of you might not be part of that community, we still hope this was a somewhat informative video. We do believe that supporting this petition to raise awareness is the best we can do in this situation and we are confident that the creators of this essentially cheese pizza porn for Peter Files will presumably face consequences and be punished for this. If you found this video informative, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel, comment your thoughts down below and yeah, sub to Kumo-san. And